Let's go with y'all. Today we have a battle of the Kobe Pro Tros, the Kobe 5 Pro Tros, and then the Kobe 8 Pro Tros. And first up on the list that we're going to compare is looks. I love the silhouette of both of these, but just because these are all white colorways, super plain, I got to give it to the Kobe 5s right here, the Dirty Dozens. Up next, we're going to talk about materials. This is just all one material on the upper, which isn't a problem, but with the snake skin and everything else that's on this Kobe 5, I definitely got to give it to this for the details. So then we got cushion. By far, I'm giving it to the Kobe 5s, bro. These feel like, ain't got no cushion, but all it is is basically that drop in the midsole and everything else is just you touching the floor. Great court feel, though. You got sizing, so if you were to cop one of these online, because you're probably not going to find them in your local foot locker, I recommend you go true to size on both these shoes. <sighs> man, oh man. Next is durability, and this is probably one of the biggest issues with a lot of the Kobe's, especially with the price points you have to get these at. So with the Kobe 8s, they have their own issue and the Kobe 5s have their own. The Kobe 8s tend to split right here over time. In the older pairs, I don't know how it works with the Pro Tros, but that was a common issue. And with the uh, Pro Tro Kobe 5s, this outsole tends to separate pretty easily. I've broken like three or four pairs in about two weeks. So with the slight edge, <laughs> I guess I got to give durability to the Kobe 8s. So up next we got weight, and I'm not gonna lie, this one surprised me a little bit. I got a scale at home because I've been doing a bunch of sneaker reviews, so I wear all my shoes now. And with the added uh, cushion on the tongue, this shoe is slightly heavier than a Kobe 5. Which makes no sense, and this is one of the heavier models with the cotton upper. So, Kobe 5s take it on the weight category. One of the things you're always curious about is the traction of the shoes. And I'm not gonna lie, I have not had issues with either of these shoes. They're both elite top tier traction. So I'm going to give it to both of them for the traction category. And last but not least, we have price. And so we're going to do the retail price and then the resale price. So retail, these retail for 180 These retail for 190 So these got them beat by a little bit. And as far as resale, you could probably get a brand new pair of these for around like 270 to 300 in your size. Versus these, you're probably not going to find lower than like 350 for a brand new pair. So these are a cheaper shoe overall. Let me know down in the comments what shoes you want to see next and which shoes you're picking out of these two. Appreciate y'all.